people are lobbying very, very hard. And when I was coming, I even saw on the wise, even some members in your party has even petitioned, even trying to let this whole program be looked at again. Mm -hmm. Do I get from you that it has to be this debt exchange program? Oh, yeah. By all means, and no, there, I, I there have is no turning back on that. I have no question about that. Absolutely not. The question becomes impact and what you do as we have done with the financial institutions, as what we are doing with the unions, etc., um, to bring that. George, for $137 billion, for you to be spending 50-70% of your revenue to service that, it's untenable. How do you reduce that? This is what we are trying to do. Would it affect all of us? Yes. Are there any ways to cushion, such as bringing a financial stability fund uh, to support the institutional basis, looking at um, the unions, see exactly what you can do with the pension funds, you know, uh, to reduce the impact, going to look at um, individual bondholders and see how we manage it. But we have to manage that. And we have to change, you know, um, um, the look and, and face of our domestic um, debt. Some have described this as a necessary evil, but some have also said that the associated shocks that it comes with the mm -hmm. economy. What are you doing about that? I engaged uh, lawyer for Sudote, and he mm -hmm. cited in the 80s where when you had a certain amount of money, the uh, government was coming after you. There was banking sector cleanup. There were pockets of um, savings and loans companies mm -hmm. and all the rest. And mm -hmm. we've gone through all these phases. Just when we were coming out of these challenges and there was a rebound, there's a debt exchange program. Mm -hmm. The fear is about the impact of this on the whole financial sector confidence yeah. as well. Are you worried mm -hmm. as the minister? And what are you doing about this? <laughs> You're always worried. I mean, uh, um, George, I mean, you've been here over these six years in which we... Um, inherited an asset quality review that was just terrible and the banking system may have been at some of its lowest you know we had to make a strong intervention spend uh, uh, you know uh, quite a bit of money 25 billion and change um, to be able to create recreate a banking system that really has been healthy and you are saying just as we're getting out of it. So what occurred in between them and as, as those interventions um, of COVID and the Ukraine experience that we have? Now we also use our buffers very strongly during the COVID period uh, in which unlike most places, uh, we ended up with, you know, uh, a lot more life saved than any other places, you know. But given that um, that has happened, um, the question then is how do we get out and know that we've done it before and we can do it again. Um, and that's, what, that's the path that we are taking. But I think the issue of certain structural reforms which we are discussing with a lot of people are also what is really expected of this government. And some hard decisions including a debt exchange, including reforms, commitment basis for expenditures, uh, etc. How do we look at the ministries? Uh, what are we going to do about these flagship programs? All of those are critical components of this journey that we have mm -hmm. embarked on. And, I and we will be successful. And are you prepared taking those tough post debt exchange program measures to, to help consolidate the gains? Because the banks, for instance, are estimating about 65 billion Ghana cities impact on them. If this thing well, goes I mean, ahead. I think the yeah, analysis... Someone saying that the, yeah. they, they're going to put the, the monies under yeah. their pillows. Well, I mean, th there are consequences to these things. How do you mitigate it? And really, what is the alternative? The alternative um, is a disorderly process, which we don't want. So how do you manage that in a way in which we will know the direction we are going, we get a support um, uh, from the international community, but at the same time, build local resilience and capacity. And that's why the issue of farming, etc., cetera, um, industries are going to be key in this period of time um, so that we, we build a country that has more buffers than it has had in the past.